In this invoice crowd review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software invoice crowd. If you have any questions, please comment them down below and I'll also be sure to leave a discounted link down there so you can always get your money's worth for invoice crowd. Invoice crowd is a cloud based invoicing, estimation and accounting software. This is what you should see once you've actually created your account and logged in. You should be greeted with this page where you can actually list your business details, you can list your name, your email, your country, your billing currency, accounting currency, and your financial year. Once you have gone ahead and put in all that information for your business details, you should end up on the dashboard. I'm gonna go ahead and input this so we can go ahead onto the review. And there we go, once you have gone ahead and inputted all of your information, this is your dashboard page. So on here, there's a lot going on overall, but we're gonna go ahead and review each feature. Right up here in the top left hand corner, you have the invoice crowd logo. You can actually click on that and it should take you to the main page. This left hand side actually has all of your areas. You have a dashboard area, an estimates area, invoices, items, customers, business profiles, templates, payment methods, team, accounting, and your reports. This main area is the area for each of those pages. Up here in the top right, you have your account where you can actually click on it and you can change your profile settings, notification settings, billing, or you can even log out. You can switch the software from dark mode to light mode, Personally, I like dark mode, so we're gonna go ahead and go with that. And to the right of that, you can actually turn on notifications. So to go ahead, I'm gonna go through this main dashboard page and what tells you what. So this is the main dashboard page. As you can see here, this is the dashboard section. Right below that, you have your earnings and what date you are on. You can see your income here, your income percentage. To the right of that, you can actually see your statistics. You can see the money in total. To the right of that, you can see what you've actually received. And then to the right of that, you've got your outstanding and what is overdue. Below that, you actually have your revenue report to see what incomes and expenses are going in and out of your revenue. All the way at the bottom, you have your customer and your payment date and how much you've been paid and their payment method. So overall, it's a pretty simplistic layout. There is not too much going on once you understand it as a beginner. We're gonna go ahead and go through each left-hand side section so I can go through every part of the features in this software. So all the way to the left, you actually have an estimate section. Once you go ahead and click on that section there, it should take you to this page. On this page, you can go all the way to the right and actually search for your estimates. To the right of that, you can create one. To the right of that, you can actually delete any that you've created or you can deselect all or filter out anything. We're gonna go ahead and actually create one so we can go ahead and see what features that uses. Once you wanna create one, you can go ahead and click this button right here. Once you've clicked it, it should open up this page where you can actually choose your invoice template. You can actually review these and go ahead and just see which one you like the best. There's not too many options, but there is a good amount of choices. We're gonna go ahead and just go with the first one for now. Once you've gone ahead and clicked on it, you should see that there is a lot going on here, but not to worry, we're gonna review each feature. Up here, you can actually go ahead and select any customers. We don't have any customers, so we're gonna go ahead and add one right here. Once you've selected that, it should bring up this page where you can actually add any basic information, additional information, and shipping information. We're gonna go ahead and just fill these in. On this page, you can add a customer name, a contact person, email, VAT, and their address. I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly fill in this information so we can actually carry on with the review. So there you go, I went ahead and wrote in all that information for some random imaginary person, made it up off the top of my head. And once you go ahead and click select customer and select Martin Johnson, that's the person I made up, it should actually automatically fill in who you are billing to. All of this is pretty much fake, it doesn't actually exist. And then you can go ahead and also fill in your own bill form. To the right of that, you can actually select the date by clicking that and it brings up this little section here. And the date today is the 25th. And then the due date, we're gonna go ahead and just say that it is the 5th of November that they need to pay. Right below that, you can go ahead and type in any payment terms that you want to address. We're not gonna do that for now though. And then right here at the bottom, it should say your estimate total. Right below that, you can actually add any sections like the product name if you are selling an item. And then below that, you can actually choose where to ship to and fill in all of that. All the way at the bottom, you can add a note. And that's pretty much overall what it is for the estimate section. All the way to the right, you can choose to ever save this, send it, preview it, download it, 
copy the link or even delete it if you wanted to. All the way back to the left hand side on the invoices section, we're going to go ahead and go on to that part now. Once you are on this section, this is pretty much the same as the estimates, you can go ahead and create an invoice should bring up the same templates and once you click one of these templates it is pretty much the exact same as the estimates you can go ahead and select your customer it should automatically fill in the information and then you go ahead and fill out this information all the same again on the right hand side you can choose to save send preview download copy or even mark as sent and you can actually choose to mark it as paid if it has been paid by who you sent it to all the way down here to the right hand side you can actually choose to change any payment methods or you can actually change any of these options. You can choose an accounting section and you can also manage the payment right here if you want it to be a partial payment. Back to the left hand side you can choose actually if you want this as a subscription as well if you want it to be recurring if you're actually owning a business that needs a subscription plan and right below there you can also have just a solely recurring invoice. Finally below that there is a payment link section and all this is pretty much the same as what we went through in the estimates. You can go ahead and click add and you can create for whatever section you are on next moving on to the item section you can go ahead and click that and this is where you can add any items you can go ahead and click the plus sign where it always is in the other sections however this time it should bring up this page on the right hand side where you can go ahead and add any names descriptions categories quantities price or any units for an item that you are selling i'm going to go ahead and fill in this information randomly Let's go ahead and write a random name and description. So there you go, I went ahead and wrote in a random name, a made up name off the top of my head. And then in the description, I put phone case. This is the item that we're going to use. Right here, you can actually select the category and click add a new category. And it should open up this section right here where you can go ahead and search for your category. If you want to add a new category, you can click this button right here plus new. And once you click that, you can actually add your category name right here. We're going to go ahead and click save to save that. And it should, there you go, it should add our category case right on the right hand side. You can add the quantity of how many of these you actually have. We're going to go ahead and just put 10,000. And then you can go ahead and actually add the price. So we're going to go ahead and add a price for each one. Let's just say £5 for each phone case. Right below that, you can actually add a discount or any tax. But we're not going to go ahead and do that. We're just going to go up to the top right hand here and you can choose to add this. Once you've created your item, it should say that. And then right here, you can see that we have our item. It should say the name, the description, the category, the price, the quantity and the actions. You can go ahead and delete this if you wanted to by just clicking that. But we're not going to go ahead and do that. All the way back to the left hand side, you have the customer section. You can go ahead and actually go on this and it should open up this page where you have any customers. We already went ahead and created a fake customer like before, so it should already be here. Any customers you make in the future should automatically be here as well. You can go ahead and create or delete any customers if you needed to. And then for the rest of these sections, it's just pretty much self-explanatory stuff that we don't really need to go through. We've already pretty much been through it. These are just designated areas for that. You have your business profiles, which is pretty much your own profile. You have the templates that we've already been through. And then you have payment methods and your team if you wanted to add anyone. And there you go. That is pretty much it for Invoice Crowd Review. Overall, I think it's a great software for making invoices and actually running any businesses that you would need. A few features I liked personally is how you can actually easily add customers and also easily add items. I also liked how you can link up any payments or any invoices that you want on command. Overall, there is a lot going on and as a beginner, it might be quite hard to understand. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I would if they're looking at starting a business or even selling some stuff or making invoices normally. That's it from me. I'll see you next time.